Perhaps you've heard the name Frida Kahlo, but what do you really know about the artist? For instance, do you know she was part of a fascinating love story, one in which her partner would often photograph her? Well, you have a unique opportunity to see those photos and learn more about Frida Kahlo. It's all happening at the Biggs Museum of Art, and we would like to introduce to you this afternoon the museum's curator of community and academic programs. This is Kristen Matulowicz. Thank you for joining us this Thank afternoon. you for having me. Okay, so um, we're talking about Frida Kahlo through the lens of Nicholas Marai. Yes. Tell us about the exhibit. Yeah, so we have this exhibition, uh, Frida Kahlo Through the Lens of Nicholas Morai. It's going to be opening this Friday, November 5th. And this shows a really unique look at Frida Kahlo and how she developed herself as an icon of m traditional Mexican imagery and just life herself. Nicholas Morai is a photographer in his own right and he is known for photographing the movers, the shakers, and the influencers of the art world. Okay. He actually goes to Mexico to meet with Frida's then husband, Diego Rivera. Instead, Frida and Nicholas become fast friends. They end up developing a relationship and stay friends their whole life. Oh, wow. mm. um, and so this particular exhibition is a collection of photographs that he made of her. And it's really showcasing how she identified with traditional Mexican symbols and created herself as this icon. Now, this exhibition is all photographs, but what we're seeing is her as the person. He gets a very intimate look, a very unique, just look at her as an individual, yeah. sure. separate from her self-portraits. Mm -hmm. And in this exhibition, we also then see her creating herself as an image. So you see her personal life, her nature coming through, but then you also see her developing and embodying traditional pre-Columbian Mexican oh imagery. Goodness. She was wow. really a fascinating person in her own right, wasn't she? Yes, and so we can see some of this coming through in her dress. So what she's typically wearing and that you can see in these photographs is a long floor length, simple, normally cotton skirt. And one of the reasons she starts wearing this type of style other than its Mexican influences is because she has a lot of scarring and injury to the lower half of her body. Let me ask you this real yeah. quick. Uh, all this is fascinating. <laughs> I, I really want to see this. And what we're talking about is photographs of the artist yes. through all of this. This kind of an exhibition is important to Biggs. Is Why? Yeah, so it's important to the Biggs because we're the Biggs Museum of American Art. Okay. And we want to make sure that we are showing art from America more than just the U.S., North America and South America is included in that. And so this exhibition lets us highlight important Mexican art, okay. important aspects of pre-Columbian Mexican culture. And in this particular exhibition is actually paired with uh, another artist, Stephen Althaus, has a private collection of ceremonial masks from Mexico. And so this exhibition, they're paired together so you get to see this sort of holistic view of uh, indigenous Mexican culture and how it's still practiced and influencing today. That's, that's fascinating. I think a lot of people who have wow. seen Frida don't know her story. So the museum is also putting out a call to artists. Yes. So we have a partnership with Downtown Dover's Black History Month and every year we show a different sort of collection of artwork inspired by their theme. Now, this year we're putting out a call for an exhibition called Visions and Voices, and it is an open call to any artist um, in the fine arts. So we're looking sculpture, painting, drawing, uh, mixed media, anything like that. And it's an open to any African-American artists in the Mid-Atlantic. Uh, to submit artwork and it will be a juried exhibition and whoever selected will be showing. And what's really unique about this one is we actually, to bring in voices, we are letting the public choose what artwork we add to our collection at the Biggs. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, thank you so much for sharing all this. It's extremely fascinating. Kristen Matulowicz with the Biggs Museum. Thank you so much for talking yeah, to us you. this yeah, afternoon. Yeah, thank you for having me. Wow. All right.